Join me while I go down memory lane for my daughter's one year and natural hair update. In today's video, I'll be sharing everything her hair has been through this past year because her hair has been through some bangs. <laughs> and also how we got to growth and length retention. Hey NC fam, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, my daughter had bone straight hair at one month old. I was so surprised when I first met her and saw her straight hair because none of my other children had straight hair like she did. Um, as soon as we got home from the hospital, that's when I started her regime. So her regime was super simple. I would wash her hair once a week and then I would apply extra virgin olive oil to her hair i later on switched to coconut oil i found that her hair loved coconut oil it did like it liked extra virgin olive oil but it loved coconut oil so i switched to coconut oil so on wash days i'd apply that to her hair afterwards just a little bit and then um, every other day i would apply coconut oil to her hair so around the second month, her curl pattern started to change. I started to notice that her hair was becoming slightly more curlier. Um, I was excited because I could see that her hair was changing. Um, if you can see from this pitch, you can see from month one to two, there is a slight change in her curl pattern. Now I continue to, you know, moisturize her hair um, every other day. Like you're seeing in a video, spritz her with a bit of water, add some oil to her hair and work that in and then I'll wash her hair once a week still so that was still her regime so at two months she also developed cradle cap now this comb that you see with the brown stuff on there is her cradle cap sorry for anyone who finds this disgusting but I didn't have any pictures of the cradle cap on her scalp but this was basically from me removing the cradle cap from her scalp so what I'll do is soak the affected area in um, coconut oil before I would shampoo her hair and then I would use this wooden comb to gently lift off the cradle cap from her scalp now if you take a closer look at the comb you see that there's no hair in there so this process she didn't lose any hair and she didn't bold or there was no breakage or anything like that I was super super gentle now by three months her cradle cap had gone whoop whoop so literally her cradle cap just lasted for a month and then it was completely gone by month three now at four months there was another change i started to notice that the back section where i have circled in orange started to feel much more dry than the rest of her hair it also didn't feel as silky as the rest of her hair or as soft it felt like synthetic hair that's the best way i can describe it and also it had a dull appearance the curl pattern wasn't really curling like the rest of her hair it was just very different and it stood out so when I started to notice this this was my cue to now introduce some more products into my daughter's regime so the first thing I introduced was a conditioner after I would shampoo her hair I would use a conditioner I then introduced conditioner only washing into her regime so co-washing midweek and then finally I introduced a leaving conditioner as well as a light butter to seal in that moisture when I would moisturize her hair so these were the three additional things that I added into her regime and this really really helps with that moisture retention and just making that back section feel a lot more um, moisturized, more smoother, more softer and easier to manage too. So from five months, she had developed some beautiful coils and even more curls. Um, yeah, her texture, her curl pattern had changed. As you can see from month one to five, her curl pattern had changed a lot. Now at six months, she was no longer dealing with that four months dryness phase at the back section of her hair. Her hair was retaining moisture quite well. I then introduced at six months 
protective styling into her regime just to help with moisture retention even more and also to prevent her hair from tangling up and getting knotty which could lead to breakage. By the way, one important thing to note NC fam is that when it comes to my daughter's hair, I don't do any fancy styling, literally just simple protective styles that are tension free and that's mainly plaits. I still stuck with her midweek co-washing, not because her hair was experiencing that dryness anymore, but mainly because her hair loved that midweek boost of hydration and moisture, so I just kept that in her regime still. So around nine months, I started to notice that her plaits were getting longer, which got me really excited and happy, length retention, whoop whoop. <laughs> I also started to notice that her baby hair, so the hairs around her nape and her hairline, she was getting more baby hairs. And then from one year old, these baby hairs started to grow even more and started to lift rather than lay flat on her head like baby hairs they started to lift and coil up just like the the side so all it went all the way around the perimeter of her head around the sides around the nape and it will form coils now this you may see that on your little one's hair and think it's breakage it's not breakage this is basically new growth as their head gets bigger in size you start to notice new hairs sprout around the perimeter of the head as time goes on the hairs will get longer long enough where it isn't noticeable like this so here's my daughter again at one currently here's her length check before i go and shampoo her hair so as you can see she has retained a good amount of length for her age my main goal now at one years old is to keep her scalp clean and healthy also to keep her hair moisturized to do simple styles simple protective styles that are tension free all of this is going to help with length retention. If you want to learn how to care for your newborn or your infant's hair, just like I did for my daughter, check out these two playlists that you can see on the screen right now.